Crash's Avatrix Tutorial A Tutorial by Casual Jocks First we will create a 10 seconds blank video segment for our title images. Click on the Add Video button. Select empty frames in the list of object kinds and click on OK. Durations are expressed in thousandths of a second. So we set the duration to 10,000 which means 10 seconds. And here's our new 10 seconds long blank video segment, shown in yellow. Double left click at time equals 1 second, this places a first peg. Double left click at time equals 4 seconds, this places a second peg. So we delimited a 3 seconds long segment, click on the add effect button. Select still image overlay in the list of object kinds and click on OK, click the set button. Now we browse up to a 320 by 240 pixels BMP picture previously created in the paint program. We could change the text in the label box to something like title pick 1. And here's our 3 seconds long segment where viewers will see title pick 1. We repeat this process for a second image at time equals 5 seconds. We right click on the yellow bar. That's our blank video segment. Then we select properties from the menu that pops up. We then change the segment duration from 10 seconds to 8 seconds. So now our blank video segment and the second still image stop at time equals 8 seconds. Now we'll add the main video. Click on the add video button. Select video in the list of object kinds. Click on OK. Browse up to your raw AVI video and click on open. We could relabel this video or add a description. In orange we now see the video we loaded. The video was loaded just after the 8 seconds introduction. The first 14 seconds of the raw video footage happened to be unwanted, so we move the time slider to time equals 22 seconds. We place the mouse cursor over the orange video segment and click the right button of the mouse. From the menu that pops up, we select mark in and mark out, then we select set as mark in point. What we did just now, chopped off the first 14 seconds of the raw video. But don't worry, this does not affect the raw video file on your hard disk. The interesting part of the video ends at time equals 30 seconds. When the cat on the fence runs away. So we move the time slider to time equals 30 seconds. We place the mouse pointer over the orange video bar at time equals 30 seconds. We click the right button of the mouse. A menu pops up and we select mark in and mark out. Then we select set as mark out point. This had the effect of chopping off everything that followed. If we want to add more video from the same raw video file, we simply repeat the same process and specify the same source video file. Now we want to add text over the image from time equals 15 seconds to time equals 18 seconds. We double left click on the orange video bar at time equals 15 seconds and at time equals 18 seconds, this places two pegs on the bar. Click on the Add Effect button. Select Subtitle Overlay from the list of object kinds and click on OK. Here too we could relabel the segment to something more meaningful. And here's our new subtitle bar in blue. Click on the Rubber Band Mode button. Note that a drop-down menu appears as well as a row of button. There is a green dot in the center of the image. It's a handle for our subtext, below. In the green timeline window, you can see our blue subtext segment is expanded. Change the drop-down menu selection to text. Click on the green dot to select the subtext. The text button is now clickable, so we click. We enter the text value. Boo! In the text box at the bottom. Click on the close button. And here's the word boo in red at the center of the screen. Change the drop-down menu to on-screen positioning. Use your mouse on the green dot to reposition the subtext. Change the drop-down menu to font. Click on the subtext handle in the timeline window. The font button then becomes clickable, so we click it. Adjust the color, font and size of the text to your liking. Now at time equals 15 seconds the word boo will appear at that position for 3 seconds. It's possible to animate the position and size of this text. See the help files.
If you want to be able to reorganize your video later on, save your project. This is a very small file. If you want to create your new video, click on export as video. Avoid exporting a video in uncompressed format because this creates monstrously big files. The best is to install and use the DivX codec available at www.divx.com. The End